NASA today released the findings from its year-long study of UFOs and, well... Hang on a minute. Vaccines normally take decades to formulate and quite often success never comes. But we don't know what these UAP are. In the mysterious realm where scientific skepticism and secrecy intertwine, a chilling underbelly of conspiracy theories has lingered for decades. These whispers in the scientific corridors often dismissed as wild imaginings relegated to the fringes of rational discourse invite us to momentarily entertain the notion that some of these seemingly outlandish claims might harbour a kernel of truth. From the enigmatic world of secret government experiments to clandestine corporate cover-ups, the revelations we're about to explore will leave you on the edge of your seat. Join us as we uncover scientific conspiracy theories that turned out to be true. Unsettling reality of government surveillance The United States has a long history of extensive surveillance, notably during the civil rights movement through programs like COINTELPRO, targeting political dissidents. In the 21st century, post 9-11, President George W. Bush granted unprecedented authority to the NSA for mass surveillance. The NSA routinely intercepts and collects communications, conducting filtering, analysis and storage for extended periods. This surveillance encompasses warrantless wiretapping, interception of emails, text messages and video chats. Through technology giants and undersea cables coupled with cellular metadata collection, the NSA has built a comprehensive digital surveillance network. Companies like Verizon provide detailed information when a call is made, including phone numbers, serial numbers, location, time and duration. Hollywood's Extraterrestrial Influence While our usual focus centers on scientific matters addressed through evidence, reason and logic, UFO-related claims demand a higher standard of evidence. The initial UFO sightings in Roswell in 1947 occurred during a period of heightened paranoia in the US, fueled by the Cold War and the threat of nuclear warfare. Despite the government's deceptive secrecy, skeptics argue for alternative explanations, emphasizing the need for substantial evidence beyond mere videos. Intriguingly, UFOs have etched an indelible mark on popular culture, with Hollywood embracing these mysteries to alleviate collective anxieties. The notion of government conspiracies concealing extraterrestrial life has become ingrained in our national consciousness, fueled by science fiction and conspiracy narratives. While skeptics advocate for logic, enthusiasts find emotional solace in supernatural and conspiracy explanations, providing a sense of meaning and order in a world where science often falls short. Fake Vaccines in 2011, the CIA embarked on a covert operation using a fake hepatitis B vaccination campaign in Pakistan. The objective was to collect DNA surreptitiously to pinpoint the elusive Osama bin Laden's location. The plan, executed in the town believed to shelter bin Laden, aimed to obtain a DNA sample from him or a close relative. Unfortunately, the operation failed on multiple fronts, causing both a setback in tracking down the Al-Qaeda leader and sowing seeds of mistrust towards the US government. This misadventure had lasting repercussions. It cast a long shadow over subsequent vaccination efforts, fostering doubts about vaccines. A growing number of people began expressing skepticism, voicing concerns about introducing substances into their bodies. This deepened distrust in scientific experts and political leaders, highlighting the far-reaching consequences of a covert mission that blurred the lines between public health and espionage. Despite the failure, bin Laden was eventually located through different means that same year. U.S. Navy sprayed chemicals into the Bay Area of San Francisco In 1950, a chilling incident unfolded in the Bay Area of San Francisco, known for its iconic fog. Eleven residents were admitted to a hospital, all grappling with urinary tract infections. While ten eventually recovered, one tragically succumbed to a heart valve infection. The true nature of this medical mystery remained concealed until 1977, when the U.S. Army revealed a shocking revelation. It was the aftermath of a sinister biological warfare experiment called Operation Sea Spray. Just weeks before the unexplained infections, the Navy had released two strains of bacteria into the city to gauge their impact on the unsuspecting population. This revelation sent shivers down spines and the army admitted to conducting several other covert bioweapon experiments across the nation during the 1950s and 60s, which had remained hidden. President Nixon eventually terminated these nightmarish programs in 1969, 
but the chilling legacy of these clandestine tests still haunts the annals of history. San Francisco's fog, once seen as a benign natural spectacle, became a shroud for these sinister secrets, leaving us to ponder the depths of human experimentation and its hidden consequences. A historical tale of dietary misdirection It might be challenging to fathom today, given our current understanding of diabetes and oral health, but there was a time when sugar was widely perceived as a wholesome dietary choice. Sugar producers and confectionery companies actively promoted the idea that fat, not sugar, was the primary adversary. Historical records from the Journal of the American Medical Association reveal that during the 1960s, researchers were financially incentivized to downplay the connection between sugar consumption and heart disease, while emphasizing saturated fat as the main culprit. In 2016, a researcher at the University of California, San Francisco, exposed that the Sugar Research Foundation had financed a Harvard study in 1967 to minimize sugar's impact on heart health and shift the blame to saturated fat. Concurrently, Coca-Cola consistently provided substantial funding to researchers as recently as 2015 to downplay the correlation between sugary beverages and obesity. Their research purported that exercise rather than dietary choices was the most effective strategy for combating obesity. These instances provide a glimpse into the ethical concerns surrounding these companies, standing in stark contrast to the palatability of their products. Atomic Kittens of Espionage In an unusual chapter of espionage history, Atomic Kitten finds an unexpected connection. In the 1960s, during the spy film Frenzy, the CIA initiated Operation Acoustic Kitty. This peculiar endeavor involved transforming ordinary felines into bionic carrier pigeons by implanting them with recording devices. The goal was to turn these furry agents into eavesdropping experts for gathering classified information. However, the CIA quickly realized that cats have a mind of their own. Instead of executing covert missions, these feline agents behaved precisely as expected. They strolled around like regular cats, uninterested in espionage. This comical twist led to the abandonment of the operation, adding a whimsical dimension to Atomic Kitten's legacy, where the world of pop meets the world of espionage in an unexpected and ultimately unsuccessful crossover. Poison Dart Pistol in 1975, during a revealing CIA testimony, CIA Director William Colby, alongside Idaho Senator Frank Church, showcased this clandestine handgun. A heart attack gun fired frozen darts filled with a deadly shellfish toxin designed to enter the human body without arousing suspicion. Upon impact, the poison left behind a subtle red dot, mimicking the symptoms of a heart attack, allowing the shooter to escape undetected until an autopsy was conducted. While there is ample evidence suggesting the existence of this covert weapon, there are no confirmed instances of its use in high-profile assassinations. The heart attack gun remains a mysterious relic of the past. Tech Conspiracy This has long been a subject of speculation, with tech giants like Apple and Samsung facing accusations of this practice, leaving consumers feeling that their once efficient devices are now sluggish. The issue often lies not with the entire phone, but rather with its battery. In 2016, the release of iOS 10 brought attention to this concern, sparking what many call battery gate. Apple eventually acknowledged that the iPhone 6 and 6S struggled to adapt to the new update, leading to slow performance and rapid battery drain. This revelation validated users' suspicions and triggered a wave of class action lawsuits and investigations. While the term planned obsolescence dates back to the 1930s, the digital age confirmed its existence revealing that people weren't imagining things. Countries like France took action against this practice, making planned obsolescence a crime and formally investigating Apple for its practices. This move portrayed the tech giant as the evil empire, accused of both tax evasion and misleading customers. The issue of planned obsolescence extends beyond just gadgets. It touches on environmental concerns, consumer rights and corporate responsibility. As technology continues to evolve, the battle between innovation and sustainability remains a critical topic in the tech industry. Weather Control In the late 1800s, an American engineer, captivated by tales of rain following large battles, embarked on a mission to replicate this phenomenon. Armed with a generous $99,000 budget, a general initiated a colossal explosion in Texas in an attempt to manipulate the weather. 
However, the outcomes of this early endeavor remained inconclusive. Contemporary conspiracy theories suggest a link between recent natural disasters and a clandestine climate-manipulating weapon employed by the U.S. Army. Weather manipulation, however, has been part of military strategy for decades. During the Vietnam War, the Pentagon integrated weather control into its tactics with Operation Popeye. Over five years, aircraft attempted to seed rain clouds over Vietnam using silver iodide particles. These particles served as scaffolding for ice formation, which, after about 20 minutes, grew heavy enough to fall as precipitation. The goal was to extend the monsoon season, potentially offering a strategic advantage. However, this covert program came to light in 1978, leading to a global ban on weather-based environmental warfare. The lesson learned is clear. Meddling with forces we barely comprehend can yield unpredictable and potentially unfavorable consequences. The U.S. government poisoned alcohol during Prohibition In 1919, the 18th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution ushered in the era of Prohibition, banning alcohol. This wasn't just a historical footnote, it was a seismic shift in American society. Flappers danced to jazz and speakeasies thrived in hidden corners. Prohibition wasn't a casual suggestion, it was the law of the land, lasting until 1933, when the 21st Amendment brought the era to a close. Despite the ban, the country was awash in illegal alcohol. Bootleggers and gangsters like Al Capone ran secret distilleries and smuggled liquor from abroad. In an attempt to enforce prohibition, the government took bizarre steps, lacing industrial alcohol with extra toxins including benzene, mercury and methanol, leading to a tragic outcome. An estimated 10,000 people lost their lives and many others were left blinded by this toxic concoction. Prohibition was a time of contradictions, defiance and unintended consequences, where the desire for a simple drink led to a complex web of crime, rebellion and tragic loss. Tobacco companies hid evidence In the present day, the well-established link between smoking and lung cancer is common knowledge. However, this knowledge was hard fought against big tobacco, which vehemently denied the evidence for years, claiming innocence. Concealed for decades were studies dating back to the 1950s, revealing harmful substances in cigarette smoke such as tar, cyanide, lead, arsenic, and even a radioactive element, polonium-210. Cigarette companies were aware of these dangers but chose to prioritize profits over public health. The truth eventually surfaced, leading to stern warnings on cigarette packs and a broader understanding of the severe health risks associated with smoking. Aerial Anomalies In 2017, the U.S. government revealed its investment of $22 million in the Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program, with a mission to investigate UFOs. Although the Department of Defense didn't disclose all the details, they confirmed that these aerial anomalies remained unidentified. In the same year, authentic videos captured by U.S. Navy personnel surfaced, providing irrefutable evidence of UFO encounters. The Pentagon confirmed the authenticity of these videos, leading to the formation of the Unidentified Aerial Phenomena Task Force in 2020, which later evolved into the All-DOD Anomaly Resolution Office in 2022. These unexplained aerial phenomena, documented by Navy fighter pilots during training flights, are challenging our understanding of what's possible in our skies and beyond. The US government experimented on black men. The CDC and the United States Public Health Service were involved in the notorious Tuskegee study, which began in 1932. They enlisted 600 impoverished black men in Alabama, all under the guise of receiving free health care. However, they were deceived about the study's real purpose, which was to investigate syphilis. Shockingly, two-thirds of them already had latent syphilis, yet they were never informed or treated with life-saving penicillin. Instead, they were given fake treatments for their bad blood, a term the researchers used as an excuse to keep monitoring the men without their consent. Tragically, over 100 of these men died due to syphilis-related medical problems. The repercussions went further, with 40 of their wives contracting the disease and 19 innocent children being born with it. This horrifying injustice continued until a whistleblower exposed the study's true nature in 1972. It was only in 1997 when President Clinton offered a formal apology on behalf of the U.S. government that some acknowledgement and remorse were expressed. Canada tried to create gaydar. 
In the mid-20th century, Canada attempted to create a gaydar in a time when concealing one's true identity as a gay man or woman was a dire necessity due to potential job loss, societal ostracism, and even physical harm. Professor Frank Robert Wake devised the ominously named Fruit Machine, part of the Canadian government's relentless quest to scientifically identify gay and lesbian individuals. Thousands of government employees were subjected to these dubious tests, where they were strapped into chairs and exposed to stimuli while their physical responses were closely monitored. Those found to be homosexual were promptly dismissed from their positions, leading to devastating consequences for many. Thankfully, these unreliable examinations were eventually discontinued. Breakfast Revolution The intriguing history of breakfast and its connection to health and weight loss is shaped by visionaries like James Caleb Jackson and John Harvey Kellogg. During the Industrial Revolution, heavy meat-based breakfast fell out of favor due to digestion challenges. Seventh-day Adventists Kellogg and Jackson believed in a bland diet to promote abstinence and eliminate impure thoughts, leading to the popularity of flaked corn cereal. Their dietary regimen, including no sex, no meat, no alcohol, no sugar, and nothing sensual, aimed at improving health. Moreover, promoting cereal during World War II potentially aided the US government's meat rationing efforts, so your breakfast choices may be more about clever marketing and historical quirks than the best way to start your day. As you savor those magically delicious marshmallow treasures in Lucky Charms, remember that breakfast's health benefits have a colorful history shaped by social dietary trends, marketing, and wartime necessity. Thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed the video please let me know by clicking the like button, do share, write a comment and don't forget to subscribe so you can catch my next video.